BMW CAS 3 Plus Plus is staff dead. How to revive it with VVDI Key Tool Plus. No solder needed. Hey there, BMW tech warriors and automotive adventurers. Welcome back to Babaji Motors, the only pit stop you need for real world diagnostics, practical solutions, and smart tech talk that actually works. But before we crack open today's critical case, here's a quick but serious reminder hit that subscribe button right now turn on notifications, and challenge yourself to watch this full video. If you're here to learn, stay till the end, and let's raise the bar. 1,000 likes and 100 comments in the first 24 hours. Think you can help us crush that goal? I believe in you. All right, picture this. You're working on a beautiful 2011 BMW X6. It's at a CAS 3 Plus Plus ISTAP immobilizer module under the hood, and you're trying to downgrade it through OBD using your trusty VVDI Key Tool Plus. Everything seems fine until it's not. Suddenly, the dashboard goes dark. Nothing lights up. The engine refuses to even turn over. You've officially bricked the car. The CAS 3 is corrupted. You feel that pit in your stomach. Game over? Not necessarily. So now the big question Can VVDI Key Tool Plus save the day on the bench? Or but do we need to reach for a different tool like Autel or Obstar G3? Let's walk through the solution, step by step, in detail, and I'll also share my personal thoughts near the end. Then I want your opinion too in the comments, so stick around. Now, most of the community leans on Autel for jobs like this because it has a solid reputation for restoring corrupted ISTAP flash files, especially when things go sideways during OBD programming. But what if you don't have an Autel tablet? Can VVDI Key Tool Plus be the knight in shining armor? Surprisingly, yes, it can. VVDI Key Tool Plus gives you two possible ways to locate the repair option for CAS 3 Plus Plus ISTAP and bring that dead BMW back to life. Let's talk about option one. All you need to do is head into the BMW menu, select the correct system, and you'll find the ISTAP repair function sitting right there. It's straightforward and doesn't require extra steps if you know your way around the interface. Now, onto option two. This method uses the CAS3 adapter pathway. Here's what to do. Navigate to Special Functions, Flash Repair, No ESL, and boom. The tool kicks off the flash repair by writing a corrected version of the corrupted data directly to the CAS3++ module. After a few minutes, if all goes well, you'll get a confirmation message that says, Write Complete. That's your green light. That CAS 3 is now repaired and ready to get that BMW purring again. Now, a little secret weapon in your toolkit. VVDI's XNDP 11 CAS 3 Salda Free Adapter. This adapter is a game changer because it lets you do the job without any soldering at all. It's clean, it's safe, and it eliminates the risks that come with removing or soldering sensitive components. Compare that with Autel, where you often must solder to get anything done. Zorz just made life easier. But hold on, we're not done yet. There are a few crucial warnings and compatibility issues you need to understand before jumping in. Let's talk limitations. One, if VVDI key tool plus fails, and yes, that can happen, you'll need to fall back on a different tool. The most reliable alternatives include Autel and Obstar G3, both of which handle corrupted CAS modules like Pros. Two, then there's the infamous BMW CAS 3 and DME compatibility trap. Some Bosch DMEs that pair with CAS 3 only provide a four digit ISN. That's a big deal because most tools expect a 32 digit ISN. In all keys lost, AKL, situations, this means you're almost out of options, unless you own an auto hex. That tool has a unique ability to convert a four digit ISN to 32 digits. None of the others, AVDI, BMW Explorer, Tango, VVDI, or even Auto, can manage that. Brutal, right? Three, and here's why this model is so problematic. We're talking V8. BMWs like the E65 series, E63 6 series, and E70 X5. These cars are built different. Most tools can't even extract a usable ISN. That's why key programming is often a nightmare on these units. So what's your plan B if repair fails? 
If the CAS is still corrupted and the car just won't respond, your best move is to replace the DME and CAS as a match set from a donor vehicle. It's drastic, but it works. And finally, a golden rule that too many overlook. Do not try to downgrade the CAS module unless your battery voltage is above 12.8 volts. Ideally, keep it above 13V. Anything less and you risk bricking the module. It's not a suggestion, it's a warning. Voltage matters more than you think. All right, here's my honest take. VVDI Key Tool Plus is incredibly capable if you know how to use it and pair it with the right accessories like the solder free adapter. But it's not a magic wand. It has its limits. For tough cases like CAS3++ ISTAP corruption, it can definitely save a day, but you need to understand the risks, battery requirements, and compatibility headaches. Now I want to hear from you. Have you ever bricked a BMW during programming? Did VVDI Key Tool Plus work for you? Or did you need Auto or Auto Hex to bail you out? Share your experience in the comments. Your insights could help someone avoid a costly mistake. Also, please share this video with your diagnostic group chats, forums, or anyone who works on BMWs. If we can save one more tech from bricking a CAS module, that's a win for the whole community. And before you head out, don't forget the challenge. 1,000 likes and 100 comments in 24 hours. Can we do it? I know this community is strong. Prove it. If this helped you, smash that like button, drop a detailed comment, and please subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it fuels the channel so I can keep bringing you top tier content like this. If you're feeling generous, hit that super thanks to support our journey. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay sharp, stay charged, and happy diagnosing.